Hello guys and welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in with Nick the Greek on Drinks Tube. We're in sunny old Melbourne and we're making a drink in the garden, a beautiful setting, beautiful flowers and we're going to make a lovely drink for you today. It's going to be classic, sophisticated, elegant, James Bond-esque. We're making a classic martini guys. Who's excited? I know I am. What do we need though? We need booze. We need alcohol. Bombay Sapphire, Nuali Pratt, London Dry Gin, the French Vermouth, some chilled water. Essential in this technique of making a martini, everything needs to be chilled in the fridge beforehand. Putting it all to one side because we're good bartenders. We know we need to make the garnish first and then the drink second. Fresh lemon over the shoulder. He's dropped it. We're going round two. We're going round two with this lemon. That one's a lucky one. Okay, come on in, guys. Come on close. We've got a peeler. You can use that at home. I like to use a knife because I like to live on the edge. Let's be honest. We're peeling nice and light around the zest. And you can get two zests out of a lemon, don't be shy. You can imagine that on a Saturday night, you've had a long week at work, you've got your friends round, and you are going to make some cocktails, you're going to be cutting up a lemon for a garnish looking so professional, guys. Okay, beautiful lemon zest, made in a couple of seconds. Pop it down, one, first garnish, come on, come in close. Two more for the Gibson and the dirty wet martini. Okay, three garnishes. Three drinks in the time it takes to make one. What? Three drinks? I know. We need glassware, guys. Straight from the fridge, nice and chilled to keep the glass cold and keep the drink going for longer. Okay. What are we going to start with? Noirely Pratt. A touch. This is a 60ml uh, jigger, a double. We're going to put five mils in to the uh, lemon twist. We're going to put 10 mils in to the Gibson to make it a little bit wetter. We're going to put 20 mils for a dirty, dirty, wet, extremely wet olive martini into the glass. Done. Noirely Pratt's done. Bombay Sapphire's next, okay. But before that, before we get to the booth, we're going to swirl it. Swirl it around the glass. We're just going to rinse it. So it's going to be almost dry. Oh, knock it out. Throw it into your sink, not on the floor if you're making it in the kitchen. Bombay Sapphire next. 60 mils in the lemon twist. That's the normal pour for a martini, but there are variations which I'll show you right now, straight into the glass. 60 Bombay for the Gibson. Only 50, however, for the dirty wet, because, why is that? The vermouth, we put extra in, didn't we, guys? So we're in, down. Next, the chilled water. I'm in Melbourne and I drink at a bar called Seamstress. They've got a very interesting technique for making martinis. They chill all their products and they worked out a formula for the amount of dilution so there's no shaking on stirring or ice. Okay, it's 20 mils. It's a secret, it's a trade secret and I'm letting you in on it, okay? So remember 20, 20, 20 in each one of them. To the side. We're so close, guys, but now we're gonna get a little bit dirty. So children, cover your eyes. We're gonna add brine into the Gibson. Delicious onion brine. Then we're gonna step over to the olives, make it extremely dirty. About 10 mils into the Gibson, about 15 to 20 into the dirty olive. You can see the color of each, okay. Saturday night, guys, Saturday night, we're all there. Party, James Bond. You're feeling, I want to drink before bed. You're feeling, I'm feeling a little bit dirtier this evening. I'm going to feel a bit naughty and a bit cheeky, and then we're going to get filthy for this delicious drink. You don't know where that night's going to end, okay, but we're so close now. Garnishes, you made them earlier because you're a professional, okay? Olives, in, drink, done. Gibson, my favourite. Onion in, it's done. Last but not least, the lemon twist. Beautiful technique over the top, just rolling it. Swizzle it, twist it, throw it in. You look like a professional to your friends, make sure it's tight and drop it in. We have three martinis there, guys. We've nicked the Greek. We're going to pick up the Gibson. Try it it's my favourite. Let's have a taste. Absolutely delicious, guys. Three martinis in the time it takes to make one with Nick the Greek. Take care. <laughs>